Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Kelly Beam. I'm the Vice President of Membership for the Rutherford County Chamber of Commerce, and we are thrilled to be here today on the third. Is this our third? Second. Second. We got a few more to go, so we'll be doing this a few more times. Uh, we are thrilled to be here today. It is a beautiful Chamber of Commerce kind of day with this beautiful sunshine. And I just want to thank you all for uh, being here and just the support of our community. Um, it's very uh, evident uh, that the people in this side of our Rutherford County are very excited about having uh, this service and this opportunity. So uh, today I have the privilege of introducing uh, Steve Sandlin, Deputy Mayor, uh, to come up and start us off with a word of prayer. Thank you. What a great day. We appreciate you all being here and there's no better way to start something like this uh, in a great community is with a prayer. So if you would, please pray. Please bow. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for this uh, community in this county. Father, we uh, thank you for the foresight that the County Mayor Bill Ketron and the County Commission had on uh, building these buildings. And it's just a building, Father, until the people get in and the community wraps their arms around it and none of this could have happened without you father and we pray that you will put your hand on each of the men and women that's in the fire department volunteer fire the ambulance service and the um, sheriff's department that will have an office here that uh, that you just put your hand on them keep them safe keep them healthy put your hand on all the workers in building this building that they're in a that they you keep them safe, as well as uh, do this in a in a manner of building it by code. And Father, it's just a building, like I said, until this community wraps their arms around it and these people get in, and it's to cut the time down on getting to those folks who need help, put the fire out, save the lives, stop the bleeding, and get to those who need help quickly. Father, we love you. We pray that um, one day we'll be in heaven with you. And without your son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we would have none of this. And it's his name we do pray. Amen. And as I did on the first one, I forgot to <laughs> introduce the next person, which is uh, Mayor Bill Ketron. Uh, he had the foresight on this and, and got it started. And it, um, it went through the county commission one by one very quickly about doing this type of building in these communities to cut the response times down into the city and then out into the county. And without further ado, Mayor Bill Ketron. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, Commissioner Reed. I don't know, but uh, I think the weather is much better here than what it was. You served up in Rockville last month, uh, so it's a beautiful day. Thank you, uh, um, Mr. Chairman P and, and uh, uh, Chief Grogan for serving up this nice weather today. Would like to introduce, uh, before we get started into the program, I'd like to introduce our county commissioners because if it weren't for our county commissioners of 21 making this possible, seeing the same vision that uh, what we want to do here, but I would like to introduce them. Um, Commissioner Joy, uh, excuse me. <laughs> You're next. No, I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna do that to you, Robert. Uh, Commissioner P, Commissioner Reed, Commissioner Buchanan, Commissioner Cook, Commissioner Johnson, Commissioner Serino, Commissioner Gurley, and Commissioner Key. Anybody else slip in the back? I don't see any other commissioners, but anybody else? We're good? All right. So, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the second of our six plan uh, public health and safety buildings. There will be two ambulances, two fire trucks from the current volunteer um, Kittrell Fire Department and a certified tornado shelter that will hold 260 people uh, when that time occurs. We're excited about this opportunity, but most importantly is what we're doing for the citizens of Rutherford County by strategically placing these on county-owned property. We didn't have to buy property. 
were able to build these facilities and if you look at a map of what is covered right now countywide, we're at about 43 percent compared to if you take the same map once all six of these facilities are built it takes us to 94 percent coverage area throughout the county so when when your loved one is having a heart attack or uh, we will be, have faster response time when your house is on fire we'll have faster response time when we can need to get you to the hospital uh, or a tornadoes coming it's going to be strategically placed we have another one today at two o'clock out uh, at highway 96 which will be two acres are going to be donated uh, to build our sixth facility just like this so this is what we the county commission are giving back to the community and we're trying to take care as the tremendous growth continues to come here we're seeing the vision and trying to get out in front of uh, to make sure that we are protected we have an opportunity here with a volunteer fire department that's one of the best in the, in the entire county. Uh, they do have the best country ham for sure, you know. Uh, next, uh, next Saturday, I believe, we have another opportunity. 19th, come out and eat some of that. But, you know, uh, we can't, we're not large enough at this point. The budget can't handle it. So we rely so much on our volunteer units to continue to provide that service for us and they'll be able to move in and we hope by building this building you'll be able to grow your volunteer department uh, to larger than what it is to where it's a nice attractive opportunity for them to come in and, and serve in this community of Kittrell so we're pleased uh, to have this dedication and groundbreaking today at this point in time I would like to bring up the president of the Kittrell Volunteer Fire Department somebody that lives out in this community and um, we're looking forward to a few words from Mr. Joy P. Joy. Thank you, Mayor Ketron. Uh, me being up here just goes to show you what happens if you miss a meeting. You know, several, several years ago, I was out of town. My, my dad and my father-in-law nominated me to serve on the board. And uh, you know, here we are almost 30 years later and I'm, I, it, it's a role that I'm proud to fill, but I'd like to welcome everyone uh, here today. And like Mayor Ketron said, we couldn't have asked for better weather. And those of you that may be new to Middle Tennessee, this is the only place probably in the world where you can have all four seasons in one week. <laughs> so as we're expecting significant snowfall Friday night into Saturday, uh, you know, welcome to Tennessee. Uh, I would like to also express uh, appreciation to, to the mayor as well as the commissioners for uh, this, this project that they're taking here in Kittrell but in the other communities around Rutherford County. As, as a lifelong Rutherford, Rutherford County and uh, to know that we're going to have facilities like this health and public safety building in Kittrell and Rockvale and all the other locations that are planned around, around this community what we all call home. It, it's truly uh, refreshing to see that when when minutes matter or when seconds matter the the ambulance is is minutes away uh, to, to get the folks there I think about uh, roughly 1989 I think this department the Kittrell volunteer fire, fire department was started as a vision and I'll leave out some folks but I think of uh, George Curry and and mine and Robert's dad Bob P and Laughlin Urey and Alvin Brandon and Freddie Hobbs and I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave some of the original founders out, but they had the foresight to start this fire department, kind of followed in the footsteps that Las Casas has had for a number of years to do that. And uh, thank Roger and all of his predecessors over at Las Casas for the, the mutual aid provided with the departments. All the other county departments were truly thankful for that. Uh, I'm, I'm also thankful for the fact that we have these young men and women that are still willing to volunteer to put their lives on the line to protect their, their friends and their neighbors, uh, to protect life and property. I'm not aware of any helping a little old lady get her cat out of a tree, but uh, some of the calls that they've been on, uh, you would think about, gosh, what would that happen? Uh, I remember John Donnell telling the story of when Kittrell School burned. You know, they didn't. They had a pretty good response time when they're rolling out of the, the, the shop building back here around to the front to start fighting the fire at the old school building that was right here. But to think of these young men and women that, again, put their lives on the line. And as I, as I look at the 
state-of-the-art apparatus behind us, uh, I can only help but remember how far we came. Our first brush truck was an old forestry truck. At uh, running emergency traffic, it might do 10 miles an hour. Uh, I, I, I seriously remember before John Bragg, people burned up the old highway, right? I had a client in Woodbury living in Murfreesboro. One of my coworkers and I were, were, were speeding at, back into to Murfreesboro and all of a sudden I found out it was my father-in-law driving the uh, old forestry truck and we're cruising along at 10 miles an hour with him running emergency traffic uh, in, that, in that forestry truck to a fire. You know, kids on bicycles were passing him. But uh, it was a good thing that that truck wouldn't do much more than that because there weren't any brakes that really were serviceable on it either. But once you got it to the field, it would climb a tree. But just getting it to the field was, was such an adventure. And then you, you look at this, this modern equipment we have behind us and the amount of... Uh, water and, and, and response that we can bring if there's a fire or a motor vehicle accident. Uh, seems like there's always something like that on, on John Bragg Hi Highway. It's a very dangerous stretch of highway. But uh, again, I want to express my appreciation to, to the mayor, to the county commissioners. I also want to express my appreciation to uh, Director Clark and uh, Chief Farley for the cooperation with uh, the county fire department and all the other volunteer departments around the county. Uh, none of us could do what we do without the, the help and cooperation of, of each of those other departments. So if you would join me in a round of applause for all of those pub public service workers. <laughs> At this time, I would like to uh, turn it over to our current fire chief, Chief Randy Grogan. I want to appreciate everybody coming out. Like two gentlemen before me said, the weather is perfect today. Uh, beautiful day to be in Kittrell. I want to thank the mayor, the commissioners, especially those that serve on the Public Safety Committee, Commissioner Pettis Reed, for their foresight and their vision to make this project happen. This station, along with the other five that are being built in the county, will not just be buildings like they said. It's going to serve as infrastructure that will set our public safety community up for success for several years to come. Um, an opportunity to build better working relationships with the partners in EMS, County Fire Department, the other volunteer fire departments, EMA, the Sheriff's Office. Uh, this is going to help us uh, build on success for super, several years to come. Kitchell Fire Department started serving this community in 1991, over 30 years ago, and we've served the entire time out of the shop building from the old Kitchell School behind us. Uh, moving into this new station is going to give us numerous resources, not only the tornado shelter, but a better kitchen area, better living facilities, uh, a, a bay that's easier to heat and cool in the summer and the winter time. It's, it's really going to help us a lot. Um, my job as fire chief is easy because of the volunteer firefighters that serve underneath me. I, I wouldn't be able to do my job without them. So I appreciate all the hard work that they put in every day and the county fire department for helping, helping us out here whenever we need mutual aid response. This will be a new home for our volunteer firefighters as well. We have several firefighters that spend the majority of their time here. Uh, there, some of them are live-ins. Some of them spend the majority of their time when they're not at their full-time jobs here. So this will be a home for them. It'll be a community center for our community to come, not only for our country ham breakfast, our fundraisers, but during severe weather events. It, it's going to be a tremendous resource for everybody. I don't have much to say. I'm not long-winded for like some of these other people behind before me. But... Uh, I appreciate, I really do appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, we have coffee inside the station. Like they said, we do have a country ham breakfast next Saturday. I hope to see as many faces out at our country ham breakfast. Uh, Mayor Ketcher. Thank, thank you, Chief. Uh, there are a couple more people that have showed up I'd like to introduce at this point in time. We have three of our, I believe, constitutional officers, Tab Beatty. Uh, our county trustee, we've got Melissa Harrell, our county court clerk, and we have Heather Darbarn, our uh, register of deeds. Thank you all for coming today. Also, I'd like to recognize uh, uh, Chief Mark Folks, Murfreesboro City Fire Department, and he brought several of his staff with him coming out in support because we're all brothers when it comes down to, to working with each other. Thank you all for coming and attending. At this point in time, I'd like to uh, next is uh, Commissioner Robert P, Chairman of our Finance Committee, who uh, helped push this thing through, making sure that the money comes in. 
uh, and this is through a grant, so it's not uh, money that will be taken at, laid at the feet of our county taxpayers. So all of these facilities are going to be through a grant that we were able to, to get. So at this point in time, Chairman, you recognize. Well, my brother had it right uh, when he said he missed a meeting. I missed one, and next thing I knew, I was the assistant chief at the Kitchell Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, kind of funny how I got there. Uh, there's three things I always swore I'd never be. One was a politician, and that's because of the time it took away from me and my father when he became commissioner. Uh, second, I never wanted to be a firefighter. It's scary to walk into a burning building. And third, don't want to be a cop. And I think any of those professions that you do, you got to love them or you're not going to do them. You're definitely not going to be a firefighter if you don't like doing that. Um, my dad was really good at twisting arms. I, I mentioned that to somebody a while ago. Uh, like I said, I wasn't interested in being in the fire department. But after six months of listening to him fuss at me every time he saw my face, I finally said, okay, I surrender. So that's how I became a volunteer firefighter and uh, learned to love it. It's something that I would, had, if I had a career to do over again, that's what I would go into is the fire service. But having said that, he also twisted my arm to do this other little job called county commissioner. And I finally conceded on that too. And like I said, he was really good at twisting arms. But to make a long story short, one of the biggest things in me as far as being a commissioner was public safety. And I've always tried to be on the public safety committee, did most of my time, 24 years at the end of this term. Uh, and one of the, my dreams was to get an ambulance here in Kittrell. Now, it's been a long time coming, but this is not something that was put on short notice. This is something we planned for years, you know, and, and not just in this location, but for the entire county. And I, I am so proud of this commission and, and I'm thankful too for the grants that we've got that made this uh, expedient. You know, it would be a long time coming before we saw this building had it not been for these grants and the mayor being able to pull those and the commission working so hard to get this done. But again, I want to thank the commission for supporting us in this and, you know, making these buildings available to us. And I, I want to thank the community here too, because I mean, these, these people have supported this fire department. They'll support this facility here. You know, this is something we're, we're staffing with volunteers. This is not something going to cost the county more money, but that's kind of a history of Kittrell for you. Uh, we're like most Tennesseans, we'll volunteer. Just get out of the way. If the line ain't moving, we're going to pass you. Thank y'all. Thank you, Chairman P. I, there was a slight oversight. I, I shook your hand when, when I first came in, Rob. Our property assessor, the guy that uh, determines what our property's worth. Thank you for being here as one of our other constitutional officers. Welcome, Rob. Next, I'd like to call on uh, Chairman Pettis Reed, who oversees our public health and safety buildings uh, and our committee. So at this point in time, come on up, Chairman. Folks, aren't you glad I'm not in charge of weather today? And I, I tell you what, uh, I think Joey hit it right there about Tennessee weather. And at Rockville, we had it all in one day, not a week. <laughs> but it's so good to see just a crowd out here today to see our second building getting ready to throw some dirt right here. And you know, when I walked up a while ago, someone asked me out there, said, where is your little notebook that you've been carrying for two years about these public safety buildings? It stays in the truck now. I don't have to carry it as much as I once did. I carry it every now and then when I run into someone who doesn't believe we're going to do this. And, you know, I feel a little bit like a preacher out there. I have to convert them every now and then about what we're trying to do and what we're trying to do here in Rutherford County for the citizens of this county. Instead of carrying that little book with me, I now carry a hard hat because I think we're going to do some building. And this one has already accumulated some decals on it. In the Rockville area out there, the coach of the Rockville football team 
put a decal on this side, said if you're going to work out here, we need to let people know where you're working. And then I went down to Eagleville, the coach of the Eagleville football team, put one on the other side, said we can't have one like that on that side and like that. So when I showed up here today, they said we can't have those here. We've got to have something for Kittrell. So whenever Kittrell gets me a decal, it'll go on here too. And I'm going to end up having this thing like a suitcase whenever you travel. So I like to have one from Las Casas. I like to have one from Walter Hill. I like to have one from every place we put one of these public safety buildings. Because I think it's important we recognize the fact of what your county commission has done. We've seen the importance and the need of what we are trying to accomplish by putting these public safety buildings within our county in a way of serving the people. You know, when we done this two years ago, and I remember when I presented it for the very first time before the county commission, I stood up there and I felt so good about presenting this and what these buildings would do, and I felt good within my heart about how important they would be, and I'm standing up there, and all of a sudden, from way over there in the corner, come Commissioner Steve Piercy, and he said these important words, where are you going to get the money? And you know, to be totally honest with you, I wasn't absolutely sure. But I knew Rutherford County. I knew we could get it somehow, some way, we were going to do this. And I started a two-year program going about trying to find how we are going to do this. And we worked on it. We developed our plan. And sure enough, it happened. In fact, I told the budget committee, I don't know... Uh, Robert, had you ever had a commissioner to come before you and say, I'm going to pray for this every day and we're going to get this? Because I did that. I stood up there and I said, you know, if it takes prayer to get what we've got to have here in Rutherford County, I'm doing it. And sure enough, I don't know if it took a pandemic to get it, but we got, we got COVID money that was going to be available to do what we're doing here. And that's what we're building these buildings from. And I guess prayer worked and what we're trying to accomplish here. But it also took the determination of a county commission that wanted to do something within this county to not only benefit the citizens of this county, but to benefit these individuals you see standing amongst you out here in this crowd. And that's these first responders that show up on the scene. The individuals that run towards the fire instead of away from the fire. I think that's amazing individuals. You know, they run towards the danger. Not only the firefighters, but our police department, our ambulance directors, our ambulance EMT people. They are the people that take care of us. And these buildings will be part of that service. And I think for once in the history of this county, we as a commission are providing those places where they can operate from. Places where they'll be up to date. Places that when they return from those dangerous areas that they have been involved in, they can come back and call it home. I think uh, the committee that was working on these buildings when we were doing this, I think one thing that really caught my attention, Chief, was when they were looking at what we were going to be placing this equipment as they would come back, we had an individual that was looking at the different colors that would be painted in that building. And I think where they showed where the engines were coming into, they were painting the inside white. And I remember the chief saying, have you ever seen a fire crew come back from a fire? And when they take their hands and they touch the wall, a white wall is not going to work. So everything, every detail within these buildings has been looked at by the individuals that will be actually using them. Not from someone who is just looking at an architectural uh, scheme, but the people who used them are going to be using them is how they're going to be designed. So I think that's what's important and what you're going to see and what we're trying to build here. We've looked at the cost. We've cut cost where we needed to. They are going to be efficient and they're going to be something the people of Rutherford County as well as the people who use them can be proud of. I'm really proud of the fact that we're going to do it. And this is our second one and I'm looking forward to putting my hard hat on today. 
not only the fact of Rutherford County, but God bless America too. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you so much for those inspiring words, Chairman. A couple more people have slipped in. I'd like to recognize uh, Mr. Bart Klein, uh, our architect on all six of these with Klein Sweeney. With him is uh, Ron Constantino, I believe. Uh, he will be overseeing uh, this whole project out here. He's over to my left. We've got uh, Derek Martin and Elin Mingleberg, I believe. Okay, uh, with American Constructors. It's interesting, folks, because we are uh, going through the PBA, and I believe uh, we do have a couple of people from PBA. At least I see their attorney here. But the, the PBA uh, chose to um, use two contractors. Rock City and Kittrell uh, is, is one contractor, and American Constructors is the other. So we're kind of seeing which one comes across the finish line first. Even though uh, Rockville got a, a, a month lead, uh, head start on that. But uh, thank you all for being here. I'd also like to recognize uh, our maintenance department, uh, Adam Dodd and his crew for always coming out, getting everything set up for us so we could we could do this. And, and our IT department filming this, uh, Cody York and his department from the county, thank you all. Before I introduce our next speaker, how many, let me show, show hands, all of our First responders, volunteers, paid firefighters. Uh, let me see. Show of hands. There we go. Thank you all. Thank you all for what you do. Next, we have uh, Chris Clark. He is our public safety director and kind of is uh, my go to person, oversees all of this and, and has been very instrumental in helping us bring all this together. Chris Clark. Thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, Mr. Pay was saying he was a lifelong resident of Rutherford County, and I think the majority of the people that are coming up here to speak are lifelong residents of Rutherford County, and we're proud to see what's going on today here in Kittrell. To know where we're going, we have to learn where we, can, where we came from, and in March 13, 2020, we received our first COVID-19 patient in Rutherford County. Shortly after that, uh, March the 30th, I became the public safety director and the whirlwind started. We saw a lot of uh, uh, tragic events during those times, but Rutherford County was resilient. To let you know that behind the scenes was uh, mayors from Laverne, Smyrna, Murfreesboro, Eagleville, and, uh, and our county. And they came together to make a united plan to push our Rutherford County through COVID-19. During this event, we found out that our public, our public health department was inundated with testing and uh, COVID-19 uh, vaccinations, and we had to move them off site. During this event, um, we looked at ways to uh, alleviate the pressures of our downtown public health department and uh, eventually moved that to the State Farm um, building. But for the future, it's our goal is to push our, or let our communities go to their local public health and uh, safety centers to receive vaccination or testing and, uh, and bring them to the peripherals versus in downtown Murfreesboro. And with that vision, uh, there was a team and that team uh, was uh, absolutely great. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Ketron, uh, retired EMS Director Carl Hudgens, our current EMS Director Brian Gaither, Chief Farley, our County Commission, um, and uh, Mr. Pettis Reed that stayed out here and uh, politicked and uh, made sure that things were going to go uh, the way that we thought we needed to go. But there are some things that in here while we were doing COVID-19 came to, to came uh, thoughts of what are, what are we going to do in other disasters such as um, um, severe weather. Our county is, I don't believe we've ever had a, a storm shelter or a, a severe weather uh, shelter. So 
we went to the drawing boards with Mr. Klein to figure out how we could do that. And so our day room here in this facility, which guys would be able to sit and watch TV and uh, do their chores and things like that, will be a hardened shelter. That's the first time we've seen that. When the alarms go off for a tornado warning, our outside doors will open, our inside doors will lock so that the public can't get to the first responders' belongings. We can fit approximately 260 uh, individuals standing up in this, in this shelter, and, and uh, we're pretty excited about that. There's some first time things that will occur. First is in Rutherford County, a fire and EMS stationed together. That's gonna be an interesting chore, but I think we can survive. We have our Sheriff's Department uh, watch room, or they'll have an office here where those guys can come in and uh, do their paperwork, take, a, take their vest off for a minute, know that they're gonna be able to not have to look over their shoulder. Uh, we have a community command uh, center that will be here locally. Traditionally, the, um, traditionally, our fire service, our police service, EMS, we would have a what's called a mobile command, which we still have. But it's our hopes that we can locate that command post here within Kittrell if an event happens here and uh, uh, be off-site of that incident. Uh, we, we will have some um, uh, new technology in these stations, uh, which we are very excited. But no, I, I appreciate the teamwork. Um, I appreciate our communities um, coming together. Mr. Uh, Joy P, thank you for hosting us out here, allowing us to, 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 to move with our plans to make sure that our community is safe. And I think that this... Uh, I know these guys that are out here dressed in blue um, are very excited about a new home, and uh, I know I am too. Thank you all very much for attending. It's much warmer today than it was in Rockville. <laughs>
And also, uh, he went to the county commission, and he's always been a big supporter of public safety. He's always made sure that we got what we needed and always been a big voice for public safety, and I appreciate that very much. I remember I got the opportunity years ago when they first started. I come over and taught a pump class and got them going. And, and last cast and kids worked very closely and responded to many fires in this community for many years. Um, I really appreciate Chief Grogan. Uh, when we started out as a vol volunteer county department before we went paid, he was one of our volunteers. And now Randy has uh, grown up and become a chief. He's also a uh, hired EMT, works for Rump K EMS, and he's the, the uh, kid for fire chief. So he has a heart for public safety and helping people. And I, I enjoy with the great relationship that me and Randy have together and we work together, and I really appreciate him very much. But uh, <clears throat> these new public safety stations will help provide a better fire protection across the county for, and better coverage for fire and rescue services, especially in the Kittle community. Building these six public safety stations across the county will help provide a lower ISO rating. A lower ISO rating means lower insurance premiums for, for county residents. I especially want to thank Mayor Ketron for his strong support of public safety. I want to thank Public Safety Chairman Pettis Reed for his diligence in ensuring that all the county commissioners were well informed and the need of this, uh, this building. And I really appreciate all of our commissioners stepping up and voting to, to move forward in this because as we continue to explode in population, it's very important that we have uh, uh, first responders out there to be able to answer these calls. And the County Commission has been very supportive of, of public safety in the last several years that I've been part of the county. And uh, uh, it's just a great opportunity for uh, Rutherford County Sheriff's Office, Rutherford County EMS, Rutherford County Fire Rescue, and the volunteer fire departments to partner together to provide better protection for the citizens of Rutherford County. And I'm just proud to be a part of that. Thank you. As stated uh, earlier that, that uh, this design uh, floor plan will have an office dedicated to the, uh, uh, one of our deputies from the Sheriff's Department, whoever's working this zone, to give them an opportunity to stop in, warm up, and uh, come out and, and uh, enjoy the fellowship, but at the same time give them access and also be the command facility in the event that we had a tornado that came through or any other um, uh, event where we could uh, set up uh, communications from this uh, facility. Last, we have uh, our sheriff. Sheriff, where are you? There you are. <laughs> Come on up here, sheriff. Might fit you. Well, you all have an advantage, me being last. I think everything is, could be said has been said, so uh, it, it uh, doesn't leave much to say. I will say this, I've not been in public safety as long as some. I've been in since 1994. Some of these old heads over here have been longer. But in the years where we are now, I, had, I think that the, uh, where we are today, I've seen more progression and more togetherness than I've ever seen in public safety uh, in, in my time uh, that I've been with it. Uh, I want the public to know that your public safety is well, it's strong, it's moving forward with the help of the mayor and the commission and the foresight that they've got. Uh, we're bringing our services closer to the people that we serve and for that I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for the people that I work with and the other agencies. Uh, it's never been better and I, I just want the public to know that. I think that for us to have a station uh, the, where our deputy in the field can come to, uh, it's going to save a lot of time and trouble as far as them being able to come in, take a break, do reports, and uh, work on the things that they need to work on during the shift. Uh, during a 10-hour shift, sometimes they just need to stop and take a break, and this, this will allow them to do that. The other part of that is a place where the community can come uh, and see the public safety at work. I think that's a great thing for, other, for this community. But uh, again, I want to echo what everybody has said. Thank you to the mayor. Thank you, commissioners, for your foresight. Uh, and stick to it is that uh, it takes a while sometimes for these things to happen. And it's very easy to give up. And thank you for not giving up and giving us this facility. Appreciate it. Thank you. Three more things I'd like to thank the commission on doing for over the course of the last three years. We have stepped up and provided all of our 
uh, departments with turnout gear, brand new turnout gear throughout the whole county. We bought extrication equipment to extract from car accidents for our volunteer departments as well. And we uh, moved our whole system, our radio system for everybody, including principals and bus drivers. We went from an analog uh, Motorola system over to a new digital system to where everybody can communicate and uh, overcome some of those dead cells where, where you couldn't communicate. So uh, we're so glad to have that new digital $18 million worth of Motorola equipment. Uh, I see everybody's got them strapped on. So that's some of the work your county commission has done over the course of the last uh, three years. So we certainly appreciate that. Now it's time to turn a, a little bit of dirt. Uh, I was talking to, to Joey P when I got here and he said you had to bring that dirt in from somewhere else because there's none like that in Kittrell. When you used to play ball out here on the baseball field, he says one big rock. So this is, I don't know where you got this American constructors, uh, where you brought the dirt in. But uh, thank you for this nice looking dirt. Maybe we can put that in a flower, flower box in front of the building or something. But uh, thank you. So uh, let's start out with our county commission and then we'll go from there. If y'all come up and man a, man a shovel.